if you want to fulfill your glorious destiny in Christ the first non-negotiable key is discovery you have to discover and find your place you must find your place and you must be very aware of God's prophetic blueprint for your life Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7 let's walk with a few scriptures media let's walk together Hebrews 10 7 lo I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will O God so where do you find where it was written concerning you in the volume of the book apostle where do I find it it is written concerning you in the volume of the book if you throw away the book you've thrown away the revelation of your destiny too you throw away the book you throw away the revelation of your destiny where do we find our destinies in Christ it is in the volume of the book are we together very powerful Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 2 Proverbs 25 and verse 2 let's read it together very powerful scripture ready one to read it is the glory of God to conceal a thing but the honor of kings to search out a matter everybody say search out mm, that it is the glory of God to conceal a thing but the honor of kings to search it out how do I find my destiny search it out you search it out with scripture this is very powerful there are three principal channels as revealed from scripture that reveal our place of destiny and purpose in life there are many but three principles number one the word of God like I said the volume of the book the word of God number two your abilities and your giftings please write it down your abilities and your giftings are pointers to your purpose and pointers to your destiny your abilities and your giftings and can i be sincere with you every time you do not connect your gift and your ability to purpose satan is going to use it everybody you see who satan is using mightily it is god's gift in that person satan is using it's not like satan gave the person the gift satan found a very effective tool in the life of that person but not connected to purpose generally speaking you see anything that is not connected to purpose does not have value in itself the value of anything is with respect to its connection to purpose and destiny so just obtaining things and not connecting them to purpose will only be acquisitions that will lead to futility it must be connected to purpose is someone learning you find your place in destiny number one from the word of god you find your place in destiny number two by examining your abilities and your giftings there's something god has put from within your spirit that should be used david your ability to sling and to throw the sling with uncanny mastery is not just a a hobby uh -uh. The, the courage is giving you to be able to tear the lion and the bear is not for nothing your music acumen the ability to be able to sing keep it because one day you will write psalms and hymns and even spiritual songs listen you must make a commitment tonight that everything God has put within me I must identify it it is amazing how that so many people have not taken the time to carefully and gratefully search out the many valuable abilities and giftings that God has put within their spirit anytime you do not discover your giftings and the things that are valuable within you you know what Satan would do he would make you feel less of yourself and you will begin to admire people that you do not even have who do not even have the the components of value that is within you there is nobody who does not have an ability from god hallelujah is someone learning very powerful one of our 
one of our little ones came the other time i think i was teaching in school of ministry and something very interesting happened the young lady came to me and she came and tapped me and said that they were listening to my message and she told my she told her mother that apostle is not pronouncing purpose well that is purpose not purpose i was watching the girl i said oh dear you see now my mind i said all right so may god raise her to become a public speaker or become a woman of god i mean she's already there if at that age so she came and she was trying to she was trying to correct me to let me know that this is how they pronounce it properly i said ah these are the people who went to school now <laughs> are we together let me tell you where most of you buried your giftings it came because of the tragedy of your foundation did you hear what i said the tragedy of an inaccurate foundation some of the giftings that were finding expression it was the holy spirit revealing them to let those around us know that this noise making ability is not just talkativeness there is something in it it's been mismanaged but this is a baby revealing something there were children with different abilities that if parents had the discernment to identify did you know that is the awareness of these giftings that should help the parents direct the children eventually on what they should study or become unfortunately many people buried their gifts to be able to honor the desire of parents and i'm saying this respectfully so there are people who are wallowing in destiny with certificates and degrees and several qualifications and there is nothing in it that is related to purpose and destiny some of the people you see that excel even academically in many cases those people found themselves either by favor or just pure luck practicing and studying things that are in sync with the abilities that are within them so it's like a fish swimming in water but there are people who are beds but they've suffocated you in water and say you must stay there some of you the pain of your childhood some of you all kinds of things that have happened to you poverty suffering has buried away potentials but in the name of jesus if lazarus could come forth i speak to that dormant gift i speak to that ability that man of god that prophetess that entrepreneur that leader joseph that king that queen in the name of jesus you must come back to life now you must come back to life now please sit down only god knows how many authors are dead within you who should write books that will mentor nations only god knows how many people potentials locked up some of us because of our backgrounds someone some person somewhere even if well-intentioned continue to minister to you that you do not have the power to become that which god has designed for you and you believed it some of us respectfully speaking the kinds of schools we went to and the teachers around us they use maybe your academic gradings and they began to call you names that made you to permanently bury your giftings can i tell you your giftings and your abilities a gentleman last week i think he was and I've received so many, I don't know how many of my photos, they do portraits, they do all kinds of things with my photos. And, and I'm so grateful for the people who are thoughtful to have done that. And a gentleman, he came in, I think, from Kaduna State. I was just praying for people here. And then this guy, I think it's almost the size of this, this, this uh, pulpit. Very beautiful. He, he drew it with his hand. And I mean, you, uh, it's, it's about... It should be it should be arguably one of the best portraits of myself that I've seen and yet this guy just presented it to me and I said my god and there are many 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 people who will pay millions of naira to someone if they can find a person who does this but you will be surprised almost all the people within that person's family they just know that he's carelessly doing something do you know let me tell you africa we must wake up the 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 spirit that makes us to destroy great visions at infancy i cost that spirit in jesus name
Alléluia. Discovery. So number one, the word of God helps you to discover your place, your purpose, your destiny. Number two, your abilities and your giftings. Inherent abilities. Write them down. Know them. Number three, service. One of the most powerful channels and platforms to find your place in destiny is service. Even service in the house of God. There are many people today who may not really know what it is that is within them until service gives them an opportunity to reveal it. Is someone learning? Very, very important. 